Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is a population consists of 25% tall individuals, genotype homozygous dominant, 25% short individuals, genotype homozygous recessive and 50% individuals of the intermediate height, genotype heterozygous, predict the ultimate phenotypic and genotypic composition of the population if generation after generation mating is strictly assortative meaning tall individuals mate with tall individuals and short individuals mate with short individuals and intermediate individuals mate with intermediate individuals. This is simple, but I would say conceptual problem, which would uh, help you to understand population genetics. So imagine that we have two alleles. One is dominant allele T, another is recessive allele T. So we can get three combinations. First combination would be capital T, capital T, another combination would be capital T and small t, and another combination would be small t and small t. So three possible combinations when we have two alleles for particular locus. And here allele which is dominant specify a tall phenotype, one which is recessive specify short phenotype and intermediate or heterozygous genotype specify intermediate genotype and phenotype. And of course it is predictable when we have two tall parents that 100% of the progeny also going to be tall. So this is easy to understand. And the same picture we see when we have two parents that are short and um, homozygous recessive. Of course, 100% of, of the progeny is going to be also short. No variance here. And as for the heterozygous genotype, if one parent is going to be heterozygous, another parent is going to be heterozygous. In this case, what we are going to get. Um, so here we are going to have homozygous dominant, heterozygous, heterozygous here, homozygous recessive here. Take a look, it is very important that one quarter of such a cross, one quarter or 25% would result in homozygous dominant genotype. And another one quarter would result in homozygous recessive genotype. So in the next generation, we are going to see the same picture. Take a look. For example, when heterozygous genotype would mate with heterozygous genotype, again, one quarter would result in homozygous dominant, one quarter would result in homozygous recessive genotype. So with each cycle, we are going to get loss of the heterozygosity. As you see, loss is going to be 50% with each cycle. And with each cycle, number of the homozygous dominant would increase by 25% and number of the homozygous recessive also would increase by 25%. And after, say, 10 such uh, cycles, we are going to lose heterozygous completely and would end up with only two genotypes, which is going to be homozygous dominant and homozygous recessive. This is what in genetics we call loss of the heterozygosity. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.